Hello friends and welcome back to another Ste Reacts. Today we are looking on the internet for everything to do with our water. Water in English, water in American. But water is 70 to 80% of our body. It's really bloody important. And actually one of the things that happens to us as we age is we progressively lose more and more water. If you see a fluffy little baby, they're all gelatinous and cute. I've got a couple of them at home versus somebody that's towards the end of the days, they look dry out and frail. That's a loss of water. Water, very important. The best solution for pollution is dilution, which means we must be drinking high quality water, but is Water as simple and safe as we're told it is? Can we just go to the tap, slug some water and be all good to go? I think not, but let's see what the internet has to say. Let's dive in. Stop using tap water. These are the contaminants that our filters caught in tap water in just a month, and there are three levels. Level one is this yellowish filter. If you take a closer look, you'll see microplastics around the filter, which can cause abrasions and damage your skin. Level two is this yeah, that's pretty gross. Microplastics, and those are the ones that you could see, by the way. Like, so they're not that micro. A lot of microplastics you can't even see with the naked eye. Uh, not only do they damage your skin, like he said, but they accumulate in the body. We've even seen that they can cross the blood-brain barrier, accumulate in arterial clots. Not good. You don't want plastics in your water. I know plastics are everywhere. We've already done a Steve Reacts on microplastics, and they found it in placental tissue, in balls, testicles, and even sperm. It's pretty wild. So you definitely need a filter because that stuff that's getting clogged on the filter is then not ending up in your body. You see, you either use a filter or you become the filter and you don't want to filter that stuff out because you can't, it's going to get stuck in you. No bueno. Brown gritty color and it means that your tap water has a high level of dirt, mud, iron and rust from corroded pipes. These are common in old apartment buildings in large historic cities, homes near a construction site and whenever there's a water main break in the area. And level three is this Again, not ideal. Inorganic, heavy metals, rust, those kinds of things can cause nasty effects in the body. Lipid peroxidation, excess iron, just generally not good. Uh, but let's see what's on the black filter dark black filter. This can come from mold or mildew, bacteria, iron, and manganese. It can also come from the o-ring inside your faucet, which can disintegrate over time. Our pure salt filter is the last line of defense against all these nasty contaminants in tap water so that you can wash your face and brush your teeth with a peace of mind. Yeah, so you can see there's all different kinds of filters. I'm sure we'll see some others today, but this one's just something you screw onto your tap. You gotta check the O-rings. I've had some, since moving into a home, I've had to check a few things. I'm always surprised at how quickly things break down. And that's probably because of the rough contaminants put in water, because these are abrasive and they break things down. And then those things end up in you unless you have a filter. So not ideal, but knowledge is power, right? If we actually have an idea of how to stop these things, hopefully we can keep them out of our bodies. Okay, we got the mayor of New York, Mr. Eric Adams, about to big up New York's water. Let's see what we're doing. Hey, tap into good health. I never head out without my New York City tap water. Hot outside. I urge every New Yorker to drink up. Tap water is the best. You know what? Respectfully, Mr. Mayor, I'm gonna call bullshit on that. I think this guy, in the position in life that he's in, he could probably have the finest water from the cleanest of the French Alps, hand massaged by Tibetan llamas and flown here on the back of an eagle and delivered by pristine hydro IV drips. And he's choosing to say that he never leaves home without his New York City tap water. Uh, denied, fact check, false. My boy's not drinking that, and you know it too. This is bunk. All right, more New York City water action. NYC has the cleanest tap water. Do you wash your face with tap water? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Do you know what the main chemical is that they use to disinfect New York City tap water? Chlorine. Chlorine. Yes. I can show you how Bingo. much chlorine is in our tap water. Okay. This is normal tap water that we use to wash our face every single day. I'm putting these chlorine test drops in this, so this will detect how much chlorine is in your water. Mix it up. It's like green. <laughs> Super yellow. You're an infection. Yellow indicates chlorine presence, and you can see there is a lot of chlorine. Maybe that's why I'm breaking out. <laughs> how long do you think it takes for chlorine to absorb into somebody's skin when they're washing their face. Like 10 seconds. Instantly. Test it out for yourself. Do you mind putting your hands in this water and just mix it around? And now I'm gonna put some chlorine drops. You can mix it up. So you see it's not turning yellow because the chlorine instantly absorbed into your skin. No way. Oh wait, that's pretty wild. Again, that adage of unless you use a filter, you become the filter. 
Um, and, and just calling out this nonsense of New York City's water being the best or the cleanest, that it's loaded with chlorine. And if you've ever been around chlorine chemicals or, you know, you grew up and your family had a pool, you don't even want to get near that stuff. You don't want it touching your skin. It's highly abrasive. It's a chemical that can clean the algae right off the dead funk and gunk on the edge of a pool. And you want to just put that on your skin. You want to bathe in it. You want to drink it. I don't think so. Filter, filter, filter. New York tap water is better than LA or better than Las Vegas, but in all of those major metropolises, Atlanta, Chicago, all of these cities, you will find at least 52 different pharmaceutical medications flowing through that tap water because Jeez. they use a closed loop system, a toilet to tap system, which is basically this vampiric system of like mutual drugging. Like I'm sure you guys are smart enough to figure out, but the, the closed loop system piece is something to really just noodle on for a minute. All of the water that is in your toilet right now is recycled. It goes to these massive plants and you can Google what a water treatment facility looks like. And if something is in the water, it doesn't mean that they're, they're actually going and taking it out. They're not actually filtering this and remineralizing it. They are using chemicals to deactivate some of the compounds. But how much do we not just know? How much is slipping through the cracks? This lady's saying 52 known chemical drugs in our water supply. How much is actually in there? And how much do you want in there? Because for me, that number is zero or as close to zero as possible. Because people are ingesting all of these pharmaceuticals and then peeing them out and then that water gets recycled and they're not able to filter out these fine, fine, fine sub-micron doses of pharmaceuticals. So wow. whether it is, you know, opiates or birth control medication, you name it, everything is found in New York City tap water <laughs> and here in L.A. Oh, she's biting back at New York City too. She name dropped them. It's all in there. You got to wonder too with the explosion in things like anti-anxiety medications, S. SSRIs, like we're getting very, very, very small, very, very microdose versions of these coming into our bodies every single day. Like how much could this be contributing to the mental health crises that we face? I don't know what the answer to that is, but it's definitely not zero. You all need to stop drinking tap water immediately. This is what a tap water pipe looks like. They're incredibly old, loaded with heavy metals and rust. And the water itself is full of toxins too pharmaceuticals, endocrine disruptors, forever chemicals, heavy metals, and hundreds more. This is what my water distiller looks like after filtering the water. And that's not chocolate milk left over. You could go online and see exactly what's in your water. According to the EWG site, in Los Angeles, there are over 30 plus carcinogenic chemicals in your tap water. Do not go near tap water. Do not drink it. Do not shower in it. Don't even look at it. it shocks me how few people realize this. Yeah, that's pretty crazy to see the visual, right? That pipe is a goddamn mess. I wouldn't want to drink anything that came through that because even if you put clean water in that and then pushed it through it, it's, it's not clean after coming out of that. And then the modern solution, because these are very common in old buildings, the modern solution is these thick PVC pipes, which are made of plastic, which are going to have microplastics leaching through them or other chemicals that they use to seal it, things like BPA, BPB. The issue as well is not just like you had that juxtaposition at the end of the video where he shows a flowing stream of water. If you actually think of water in nature, it, it always flows and it's never in these horizontal lines, 90 degree angles. It's not shot through these pipes and then housed in a container and then used. Like water wants to move and when it doesn't move, it becomes stagnant. You've seen a puddle at the side of the road or the side of a stream that gets stagnant and that's where all the flies congregate. Unless water is moving, unless water is alive, it's not healthy. Is your water destroying your hormones? We all know that tap water is terrible for our health, but bottled water isn't much better. By law, bottled water just needs to be as good as tap water. Not to mention, if you're buying your water in plastic jugs like this, it's gonna come with a ton of endocrine disrupting chemicals. BPA was originally created as a hormone replacement for females, but the industry got a hold of it and now it's in virtually everything. While plastic doesn't biodegrade, it photodegrades, which means light breaks this down. So when BPA breaks down from light, this is essentially estrogen water. If you don't have a reverse osmosis filter, you might also think that drinking your water out of a can is also a good idea, but this is also lined with BPA, so that's not a great option. So ideally, what you would wanna look for is your water bottled in a dark glass container. Because this is glass, it's not made of BPA, and the dark color is gonna refract all the light off. So this is completely pure spring drinking water. Shout out to the Mountain Valley, dark green glass bottle sourced from a spring, the good stuff. That's surprising sometimes. I thought I was avoiding some of the harms when I was 
shopping out on the road or traveling through an airport that I would buy one of these cooled canned waters, liquid death, those kinds of things. Only to learn that cans also have these linings inside of them, just like BPA. And as brands become aware that the conscious consumer is avoiding BPA, they'll claim BPA free, which you're like, okay, great, this one's awesome now. Not realizing they just sub in a different kind of chemical under a pseudonym that you would never know and you're unaware of, and now you're thinking you're making the right choice, which is probably a better choice, but you're still getting screwed whichever way you spin it. So ideally, especially if you have to buy water, stay away from the plastic crap, go for the glass bottles. Yes, I know it's more of an expense, but what is worth investing in more than your health? And one of the fundamental pillars for health is hydration with proper water. Right now, everybody needs to stop drinking tap water. Tap water is poisonous. Purified water, poisonous. It's literally just glorified tap water that they roll up the sani and all this garbage. Don't drink it because water is extremely important. Your entire body is composed of water. Why would you not be giving yourself the best source of water to nurture yourself, right? So what type of water do we drink? Aquapana is phenomenal. Spring water, bottled if you can, ideally in glass. If not, you utilize a reverse osmosis machine. The man said it. He's pulling no punches. He's not wrong. I love that meme. We, maybe we can slip it in here of the guy like crawling through the desert, like thirsty as hell. And then the next screen is him seeing Dasani and crawling right past that. It's like, nah, I'd rather die, bro. <laughs> Andrew Huberman. It's a pretty grim picture, frankly. When one looks at what's contained in most tap water and whether or not the compounds that are contained in tap water are present in sufficient concentrations to negatively impact our health. And the bad news is that much, if not all tap water, believe it or not, much, if not all tap water contains things that are bad for the biology of our cells. That's it. Case closed. Huberman said it. Send this to Mayor Eric Adams. What are you talking about, bro? Much, if not all of the tap water is no bueno. If the Huberman said it, that's good enough for me. Right on. We find our filters. Let's go. Tap water is done. There you have it, folks. Depending on who you ask, you will hear different things. Of course, the regulatory agencies are going to tell you that tap water is aces, completely safe, especially if you live in New York, wink, wink. Anybody else that takes an alternative viewpoint gets their spidey senses tingling a little bit that there is stuff in the water that shouldn't be in the water. But this is the cost of progress. This is what a closed loop system of containing water for millions of people in districts will do. And therefore, you have to do what you can do to protect your health and your family's health. And at the very least, you want a countertop filter all the way through any other variations of that and potentially going down the whole house filter route. Water is essential to our metabolism, to our health, to our vitality, to our aging, that you want to do the very best thing that you can for your health. It has to start with water. Where does it fall on the hierarchy? I don't know, but if we're in this realm of optimization and we're thinking about things like eliminating seed oils, buying organic, supporting your local farmers, exercising and moving your body, it should be a natural extension to really think hard about your water too and do your due diligence and what you can to clean it up for you and your families. Stay hydrated, friends, and I'll see you next time.